So here we are, got the shirt ready. I almost have the voice, I have a little bit of a cold going, so I almost have the Christian Bale Batman voice, but it is Batman Live at the HP Pavilion in San Jose. The Geek Speak Show is here. We're going to go in there, we're going to see the Batmobile, the real Batmobile. We're going to meet Batman, Robin, Joker, maybe Catwoman, maybe Two-Face, maybe Harley Quinn. She was on with us on this week's show, you guys heard it. But Batman Live is here at the HP Pavilion. You hear the train, they're pulling up, all the stuff is in there. The Batmobile, did I mention the Batmobile, by the way? Maybe we'll drive that one home. So, I'm going to go in there. You, I'm going to take you guys with me, give you an exclusive look at Batman Live. If you want to see the real thing, go to our website, the homepage, click on the Batman logo, get your tickets right there, and we maybe will see you there for Batman Live at the HP Pavilion.
Okay, so just saw the cool Batmobile come out, and here we are, the Geek Speak Show. I promise you guys, Batman live, and here they are live. Not Batman, we'll get to them in just a second, but we have Catwoman and the Joker. Let me have you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, of course. My name's Mark Frost, and I play the Joker in Batman Live. And I'm Emma Clifford, and I play Catwoman in Batman Live. And the first thing I want to know is, what did you guys say when you, when you were asked to play the Joker and Catwoman? Yes. <laughs> Second yes. Yeah. No, it's very exciting. You know, it's not often a project like this comes up. Uh, it's slightly unusual, um, but you know, uh, iconic comic character, probably one of the most iconic comic characters. You know, um, um, touring around the world, it was a it was a fairly easy decision to make, really. And uh, and it's very exciting to be at the forefront of something something new and something a bit different. Um, um, you know, I don't think this a show like this has been done before, so we were very excited to be asked. Were both of you guys fans of the, of the character before, but the, the Cat, Catwoman, Batman, of course, were before you took on this role? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we've all sort of grown up with the comics and then the films, and then to be able to portray these amazing characters now is such an honour. You know, it's been really great. I, I, I mean, I'm old enough that I grew up with the... Uh, with the television series, with the um, you know the with original Adam with Adam West, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've sort of seen seen um, seen the whole variety of uh, transformations of Batman, and uh, yeah, this is this is this is interesting because obviously it has a huge heritage, and uh, there's lots of people who've who've, who've who've had their interpretations before, and uh, we've tried to take it back to to, to kind of the um, original comic uh, book element, I think, and hopefully brought brought a comic book to life on stage. Yeah, without giving too much away, uh, the Catwoman is featured prominently in the new, in the last movie that came out. The Joker, enough said there, you know, what Heath Ledger did with that. How do you guys stay away from that, or do you even try to 
do anything like like what they did I don't th you don't need to stay away from it because you're you're playing the character it's it's great to observe what people have done before you but ultimately it goes back to the comics it's Catwoman from the comics it's Joker yeah. from the comics so the brilliant the brilliant thing about these characters is they leave such scope to put your own imprint and to stay true to the to what the fans want to see um, but I don't. Th people often ask that, and it's it's not so much a problem. It's exciting, I think. And also, I think you know what you can do on film, especially Heath. You know, everybody talks about his laser performance, which was an extraordinary performance in any genre of movie. I think, and also at the time of his life, you know, incredibly sort of, um, I suppose, um, poignant part of his career, and uh, and as such, was an amazing legacy to leave. But what you can do on film. And what you, what you do on stage is slightly different. I mean, obviously the challenge is the same. You try and give a truthful portrayal of the character, but it, it can't. We 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 don't. We can't go as dark as the Nolan films. You know, this is a kind of a, I suppose, taking Batman back into kind of family entertainment, but hopefully retaining some of the elements of, you know, we, we were in Arkham Asylum at one stage and it gets pretty pretty scary, hopefully, and very atmospheric and, you know, the Joker is still a psychopath and Catwoman is still very sexy, so, you know, we, but it, but it, it you can't, you can't, you know, it is a different medium and, and uh, by its very nature, I think, Batman Live is a, is a live, interactive sort of uh, entertainment experience rather than what you can do with the film. And all you guys can see it live, Batman Live, at the HP Pavilion in San Jose, 20th to 23rd. Get your tickets. Go on our website on the homepage. Click on, click on the Batman logo. It's there. Get your tickets. Thanks, guys, and we'll look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thank you. Thank see you, you there. Much. Bye. Okay, so, like I said, we saw the Batmobile, we saw, we talked to the Catwoman and the Joker. Now, stars of the show, Batman and Robin here with me. Let me have you guys introduce yourselves. I'm Jack Walker. I'm Batman. I'm Cameron Darby Ford, and I play Robin. And this time, we know it's Robin through the whole thing. So, this one, this show, without giving too much away, it's actually more, uh, it's, it's focused more on, on Robin's yeah, story, right? Actually, the narrative is, is, is yours, so you want to talk about it? Yeah, sure. I mean, um... Although the the story kind of follows Dick Grayson's journey, um, it's also a coming together um, of the dynamic duo. duo. Uh, there's a real sense of um, kind of uh, unity between the two, um, and it's a really lovely journey to go on because you see these the, the, these two very lonely people who who have to come together in order to find ju ju justice within, within themselves. It's powerful. Yeah, they, they, they need each other to, to get where they're going, and they're, they're both different by the end of the show. You know, so there's a genuine story and a character arc, and this coming of age for both of them really. Even though Bruce is obviously older and is, occupies the more paternal role, but they both they both change and develop. It's good. Now, Batman and, and Robin, the, two, the characters, and all the characters really on the Batman Live play, they're they're all known throughout the world, especially with the Nolan films. Do you guys try to pattern your your, your performances after what they did, or you? try to make it your own definitely make it your own I think it's the only way to go otherwise you're bound to fail so um, <laughs> I mean as much as you'd like to emulate you do feel emulous of a certain other incarnations of what people have done with Batman because it's been done really well in various different ways but like um, I was just saying before we were talking about how it, it's kind of like what the idea is to kind of cherry pick from the various different versions and uh, sort of conflate them all to something that we think is, is unique, which I think, I think it, ha it, it just by dint of the way the show is, is unique because it's a live show, because the audience feels a part of it, um, because it gets to um, bring in far more different elements, disparate elements almost as well. And, and um, uh, it's, it's bound to just be very different. So it would be a shame to try and emulate something else. What's, what's for you guys as the actors? What's the toughest part? Is, is it the physicality of it, or, or learning the lines and doing the physicality too? Uh, the f uh, physicality. Yeah, go, go on, go on, you guys. Yeah, personally, um, I struggled a lot with the fitness side right yeah. right at the start. Because when I started this job, I wasn't as fit as I probably should have been. Um, but now it's a, lo a lot easier. But it's a really physical show. I mean, it's it's a real ac action-packed, spectacular thing that that. that yeah, that we're showing, back you know? flips and all sorts. He's, he's he changed physically from remember the first. <laughs> he is the crazy so. now. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I've embodied him. Yeah, yeah. For me, actually, I found I think that the suit like helps a lot with the physicality anyway, um, because 
you put it on and you immediately kind of revert to a child playing the thing. Yeah, the tour's been going on for a while, though. The very first time you put on the suit, what, what were your feelings? Um, it's funny, actually, because the, the thing is, when you first put it on, you don't know if you can quite... I, well, I, for me anyway you're not sure if you're going to pull it off because it's quite it's an iconic image that yeah. you're representing there um, so the, I sort of relative diffidence when I first put it on then you start to sort of walk around people respond to it and then you start to own it a bit and that's and that's when you can really sort of indulge yourself on stage and really enjoy it and honestly just us and a few million viewers did you look in the mirror and say I'm Batman I, of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah how did you feel the first time you put on the Robin costume? Um, a dream come true, really. You know, I mean, uh, it's every kid's dream to, well, and every adult's dream to be some sort of superhero to yeah, be. I was say, in big kids yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's something that kind of doesn't change as we we grow up. We want to, uh, we we want to have a sense with our, our, ourselves that we're kind of doing good. We're always doing good, and we we all want to be a hero in some way shape or form so yeah this is something unreal i have to pinch myself every morning <laughs> just to make sure i'm not dreaming yeah it's real it's happening it's live it's batman live 20th to the 23rd at the hp people in san jose go to our website the home page click on the batman logo tickets are right there thanks guys we'll see you this weekend and hope you guys go out there and see them too